Hello and welcome back to another episode from the Studio Block server. My name is Weird and Bearded and today is going to be a very exciting day because the day that this episode comes out, we start a brand new project. We're not actually going to be working on that project in the episode. I don't even know what the project's going to be. But we're going to work on the pre-project? Let me explain. We're going to be starting a building challenge. We're going to have these every now and then on the server. Think of a building challenge as essentially a build battle, but longer. Instead of having 10 minutes, half an hour, whatever it is to do your build, people will have three months. There's a few reasons for this. People who are on the server regularly will be able to put more effort into the build and can go for the big spectacle. People who can't get on the server as much, and we have many people on the server who are also part of other servers. This is not their main server. This is something we encourage. We would love to get more content creators on here. So by saying to them, look, this doesn't have to be your main server. It's a great way to do that. So, you know, if you're a content creator and you want to come on here and experiment with stuff and take part in build challenges, etc, etc, you are welcome to join. But it means that those people, even though they can't get on here regularly. They can still take part in the challenge. Uh, I'm sure there is there's another reason, but I, I can't remember what it is. Oh, yes, that was it. Uh, one of the things with the build battle is, obviously, with the limited time, you kind of have to go with the first idea. This will allow people to plan for stuff. So, yeah, we have our first build battle coming up, and I kind of need to prepare the area for where we start off and everything. Um, which we're going to be doing today, and I'm really excited. I can't wait for the build battles. There, there are such plans. I can't plan everything, because I, one, I don't want to get a head start, but I don't know what's going to happen. I can tell you that the first build battle is going to be called Inspired by Minecraft, and the, hang on. Oh my god. Magic floating rainbow sheep. So, of course, with that theme, I'm going to need to build a shuffle. We're going to need to randomise some stuff, because I don't want to know what I'm going to be building in advance. I don't want that advantage. There are some themes we're going to be doing in the future where, yeah, I will know. But with this one, no. So, we're going to be building a shuffler. There's, there's quite a few options, not too many, though. Uh, I think we should be able to do this. With a simple dropper hopper shuffling system. So so we'd have a hopper down here. There'll be a button attached to it. Maybe, maybe with a water stream so people can't just right click on the dropper and see what's in there. But yeah, if we spit something out into a water stream so it's far enough away. Then people can press the button and then they'll see what they get. That could be a nice way of doing it. Um, but I... There's going to be more stuff than fits into one dropper, so I can't know what's going in there. So before that, if I do, yeah, if I do something like this, have three droppers going round in a circle with a hopper there, I want to turn this round. So we'll actually have that going up and then that facing that way. And then in theory... If we get rid of this hopper for now, and we'll put the hopper in there, I just want to confirm, if I activate just this dropper, I am getting everything. Good. So, you strongly power one block, it activates a block around it, so we only have to activate that one dropper. I don't want it on a particularly fast clock, so let's do... A very simple repeater clock. We'll grab some. Uh, I like polished andesite. There's polished andesite. It's now so much further away than it used to be. But if I do that, I think. And we can have a repeater facing into that block. And then another two repeaters. We'll just put them on a couple of ticks each. Probably doesn't matter too much. Yeah, one tick each. That's plenty of time. Okay. 
so now it will fill up the three droppers I, I don't know exactly how much i need i know it will be less than three droppers full so i am going to get some stuff to fill up the three droppers with and then we can make sure this is actually shuffling stuff go so yeah i, I want to confirm that the shuffler is going to be shuffling things satisfactorily. It should do, because with whenever you activate a dropper, if there's multiple things in there, it will spit one out at random. So this should give us a good shuffle. In here, subscribe to Weird and Bearded. That sounds like a good idea. So we've got a load of different banners. Ones that are the same have been named so that they won't stack. So if I activate this and then put a hopper down that will all start feeding in oh and it's in there stuff and there it goes silent that's nice that's much nicer so then i'm gonna give this five minutes then i'll put down a hopper just so i can confirm that things are scrambled to my satisfaction also i think i forgot to mention this obviously we're in my redstone testing world look at all the delightful redstone let's have a little look so this should now be coming in that it doesn't it doesn't look like subscribe to weird and bearded anymore edra braoki dus bustudun ibur tuye i think it's safe to say that that is shuffled and i'm gonna shut that off so while that was shuffling i had a thought we could, rather than just have them press a button and it shoots out a bit of paper or whatever to let them know what they're going to do, we could make the process a bit more fun and send a bit of paper on a little bit of a journey around them. It, it might work. So I'm going to spend a bit of time designing that and I'll bring you in when I've got something that I think is fun. As you can see, we are back on the server it's all been designed we actually did it most of it during a live stream which was a lot of fun but i don't really want to show you until we've actually got it built up here so you can revel in it in all its glory but i have been doing the resource collection because it has ended up being quite big so we got 10 shulker boxes of various materials here it's gonna craft down only down to four shulker boxes which is nice there's not actually a huge amount to build but i do have to get all of this in place well all of it crafted up ready to go and i figured it's been a while since i've done a crafting time lapse and this feels like it could be a fun craft especially because there's something that i've been really excited to use there's a there's a block on the server we have a special recipe for and I cannot wait to use it, so let's get crafting. We are in an undisclosed location, unless you look 
at the coordinates. So we're on a little stone island in the middle of the ocean. We are no longer in the factory district. We have strayed away. We have moved over to the games district. Because that makes sense. Oh, it, it's a thunderstorm. Let's, let's pass the storm. Yeah, we're in the games district because this is a build challenge. People are going to be getting points for stuff. There's going to be trophies for the winners. So it makes sense to build it out here. And I just like the mystery of you sail out or you fly out to this island in the middle of the ocean. There'll be a staircase down to where everything's going on because, quite frankly, easiest way to hide the redstone, build the thing underground. So I've got everything I need for the build. I've got the schematic in place. I've also taken a schematic of the island because I think the easiest thing, from my perspective, also for, you know, being able to see what's going on. I've got a lot of digging to do. May as well dig from the top rather than just the area I need. I'm going to dig down, but then I'm going to put stuff back on the island as it was. So it's going to be a bit of a weird time. That's because we're going to dig down, then just build back up. And by the end of it, it will look like nothing's changed. Except you'll know that everything inside has changed. I've got a beacon with me to help with the digging. It's probably going to be a few trips because I need to go down around 40 blocks from here. But I've got a waystone to make things easier. So I suppose I may as well get on with it. Oh, I was going to talk about the themes for the... Oh, oh no, the, the music started. We'll, we'll discuss the themes later.
I did such a good job at making this island look like the island it once was that there's now no way into what I just built. I have completely sealed it off. I did not think that through. So I'm going to make a little entrance area from the top. I imagine it's just going to be a little drop shaft. I have no idea. I think the entrance is coming from this side. I'll, I'll need to do some checks. But I'll have a little drop shaft, build a little entrance room. And then I can show you what it is we've actually built down there. Got a couple more details to add. But I think we are pretty much ready to go. So let me get that entrance built and then I will bring you guys back in. At this point in the video, if you are on the server and you haven't started the build challenge yet, there are spoilers ahead. So, you know, go find out what you're going to be doing and then come back and watch the rest of the video. We'll wait. Hmm. Skipping stones is really hard in Minecraft, but I think that's given them enough time. So, uh, they will likely be starting from the Mushroom Island, because that is where our central point is, and they're going to have to go all the way across to the other side, because again, we're in the Games District, which is opposite to where we've all been setting up. So, they need to fly out from here until they find the Stone Island. They will have coordinates for this. Um... Hopefully, I can remember the coordinates for this. So, let's fly on over. So, at this point, they should have no idea um, what is going on. Except that there's a build challenge. The island should be coming into view soon. There it is, there it is. So, then they'll reach the unassuming island, hopefully not lagging like I just did. And they will find a drop shaft and an exit point. Ow. So they drop down. We have a share stone here. This will link to everybody's builds. And behind that we've got a barrel so they can all take share stones to link to their builds. We've got a book which I haven't written yet because I need to figure out what goes in there. But it's going to tell them, you know, all the instructions what to do and they'll come in here we have a little stand oh I, I should actually just show you the build look at it i made a pretty thing i'm so proud of myself i also when i was designing it didn't really take into account the fact that we only need one entrance and exit so i made eight so for the other seven we've got various different green screens because why not I'm sure that will be fine. People can put whatever they want there. And then we have a little pedestal here where we're going to have three trophies, which have all been designed. So we're going to get the trophies on there. Top three people get a trophy. We're going to have a voting system. It's going to be fabulous. And in the meantime, they might also look up and go, oh, well, there's a dropper up there and a button down here. I'll press the button and I'll get what I need. So yeah, oh, it's, it has not fallen all the way down. And then some water comes out and pushes it aside, despite there being nothing there, because again, barrier blocks. And then the piece of paper will get stuck there and then get swept away again. And they'll go, where's it going? Where's it going? And then it pops out and lands on this pillar. Where more water appears very subtly. And then it pops out of there and falls underground. And then it disappears for a while. Before. Oh my god, it's fallen from the ceiling again! And we've got a nice little waterfall staircase coming around. I love this build so much. And if we go back onto the button, it's going to come out from there. It's going to bounce off the pillar. And into their inventory. And then they'll know what to do. This makes me so happy. This was such a fun thing to design. There is so much redstone going on behind the scenes to make all of this work. So yeah. The build challenge, apart from the trophies and writing the book, 
is all ready to go. And later on, we're going to be adding another room off either that side or that side. Don't know yet. Um, but that's going to be where we have our voting area. And we're going to have another share stone connected to that. So it's easy to travel to. But in the meantime, if you like the episode, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Weird and Bearded. And I will see you all. Oh, no. No, yeah, I, I need to tell you guys what the theme is. So, they are going to be building.